We recently announced the beta release of the Amazon Kinesis connector for clip pipes. Combined with the recent release of the S3 connector for clip pipes, it means that if you have batch data or real-time data, it's now super easy to get it into ClickHouse Cloud. Let's come over to my Kinesis UI and we're gonna create ourselves a data stream. So we'll call it logs and we're gonna leave the capacity mode as on demand and then we'll click that create data stream button. Give it a few seconds and the stream is now active. Let's now come over to my terminal and I've got a little script that I'm gonna call that's gonna write data into Kinesis in 500 record chunks. And you can see it's publishing those records there. I'll put a link to the script in the description in case you wanna see how we're doing that. Let's go back to the Kinesis UI and we'll click on the data viewer. And you can see if we choose one of the partitions and ask it to read from the earliest point, we've got loads of data in there already. And if we click on one of the records and then go to the JSON view, you can see exactly what we've got. So we've got a bunch of log data for an imaginary streaming company. So you can see we've got the, an event ID, we've got device type, device model, it's got event type. And then if we scroll down, you can see we've got a bit of other information as well. So now that we've got some data in Kinesis, it's time to load it into ClickHouse Cloud. We first need to create an IAM user that ClickHouse can use to connect to Kinesis. So we'll come over to my IAM dashboard and let's click through to users. So you can see I've got a Mark Kinesis user. If we go down a little bit, we can see the permissions that I've given the user. So I've given this user the Amazon Kinesis read only access and you can see what actions you've got there. I've given it on all Kinesis resources, but we could choose to restrict that if we wanted. Let's come over to ClickHouse Cloud now. And on the bottom of the screen, we're gonna click on set up a click pipe. And you can see there are a variety of data sources that we can use. So we've got Apache Kafka, we've got Confluent Cloud, we've got Redpand, we've got Warpstream. But up in the top right hand corner, you'll see Amazon Kinesis with a little beta labeled next to it. So let's click on that. We're gonna give our pipe a name. Our Kinesis data stream is in the EU West 2 region. So let's select that. And then we're gonna paste in our access key and the secret. And those are for that user that we just looked at. And then let's click on next incoming data. That will then offer us, well, which stream do you wanna read from? So we've only got one. So let's click on logs and we'll tell it we wanna read from trim horizon, which is the earliest value. So we're gonna get everything, but you could choose just to ingest the data starting from now onwards. You, once we click that, we'll see a little preview of the data. And then if we're happy that that looks good, we can click on pass information. You'll notice that ClickHouse Cloud has inferred the schema from the JSON that we saw on the previous screen. So let's choose a sort key and the columns and types that it's chosen look pretty good to me. So we're gonna now click on the next button. ClickPipes will then set up a dedicated database user for data writing and we can choose what access that user has. I'm gonna click on full access and then we'll come through to this screen where we can see the status of our ClickPipes job. So it starts in provisioning and if we speed that up a little bit, eventually you'll start to see records coming in and it will switch over to running. If it doesn't switch over to running and you are seeing records coming in, it's probably working. It's just the status hasn't updated. So you can just refresh and you'll see the status is updated. We can then click on SQL console and we should see some tables. So we'll see two tables for each click pipe. We'll have the name that we gave it, so logs, and then we'll have logs click pipes error. And so what happens is if there's any errors when it was trying to ingest the data, it will tell you about them in that second table. But let's click on the logs table for now and you can see there's all our data nicely loaded into ClickHouse. We can also write a query ourselves. So if we write, let's see, say we wanna count how many records we've got ingested, we could write that query. You can see we've got just over 2.6 million. How about if we have a look which countries are appearing the most? And so we could write that query and you can see it's Korea, Congo, and then Puerto Rico. And let's do one more. Let's find the quantiles, the various quantiles for the average bit rate that users are experiencing. And you can see that comes back. So we've got 8,000 at the top and then on the 50th percentile, it's 4549.5. So that's the Kinesis connector. Give it a try and let us know how you get on and I'll see you in the next video.